All right, we're going to start off with a really interactive and fun thing that you can do that's also really practical. That's some great things on there, like a name picker. So Trish is going to show us how to use Flippity. I love flipping out over flippity. Uh, so often we're trying to look at different ways for kids to practice, whether that is practicing vocabulary, some knowledge and skills, um, different ways to study, or what are some things that we can do with our students inside of a Google Meet. And so I absolutely love flippity because A, it is 100% free. B, it is very easy because it's just typing inside of a Google Sheet. And don't be scared of the idea of Google Sheet because if you can type, you can do flippity. And uh, we can put these things, whether that is inside of a meet like this, and we're sharing a screen, and we're able to showcase it to students, or of course, we can even have kids make these, is a way to study, to learn, and to use them with each other. So I'm on flippity.net, uh, which is just really exciting. And you can see so many. I feel like he's always adding to this, Darren, all of the new ones that are so on here. Ninja. Yeah, and so we can things like making a board game. Uh, imagine making a bit of a breakout game with some knowledge and facts and different concepts, being able to do some matching manipulatives, um, even things like word searches and crosswords. What a great way to do some content vocabulary, just even having kids exposed to those words, whether that's second languages or scientific concepts. But everything is all built within here. And so probably one of the most uh, common ones that, you know, we, we tend to want to try to find, Darren, is that random name picker. So if oh. I go in here, you'll be able to see there's a demo. You've got the popsicle sticks. If you're, <laughs> I know we're going virtual and all that, but like in a normal year, if you have the popsicle stick jar, you know, or however, your spreadsheet or whatever, this is a great way. Can to you imagine it. after COVID, are we ever going to take something we once licked, had in our mouths and put it in a shared jar to pick up and touch it anymore? I'm sure maybe high school teachers have a different way of choosing names, but here's a great, this is a great way to do it. So in here, here's a bit of a sample. And so one of the things that I can do, of course, we can see that random name picker. But right away, I can see how I can make groups of four. Oh, wait, I need to shuffle some of those groups. I need to swap around some names. No, I need four teams. No, I need a seating chart. Like, it's just so handy. It's one of those teacher time savers. But how all of this really is generated is through a Google Sheet. And so one of my favorites, Darren, is to do the flippity quiz show. Because really, it's like that Jeopardy style feel. It's still very interactive. But for the answers, I can have things like images, video, text, just like we talked about last time. How can we make sure we have all of those engaging tools beyond just print? So when you find one that you want, you go ahead and you click on the template and it's going to get you to make a copy of the Google Sheet. Now, I happen to have it here because I wanted to make a Google game show. This is for some professional learning for teachers where I wanted to be able to ask some of these questions. All of this was set up for me. I just needed to go in and type my question as well as put what I wanted for the answer. And you can kind of see if you look close, I've got things like YouTube videos and images. And what will happen is you're simply going to need to publish it to the web. That makes it live. It makes your link work regardless of which one you're doing. And once I publish it to the web, what it's now going to let me do is it's going to give me a link. I'm just going to lean up here and get that link. It'll give me that link that I can now open up and be able to use. And, Trish, and so right here, Sorry to interrupt. One of the things that people think like, oh, publish the web. I don't want people to see my work. That's not what it's doing. They would have to randomly find your room out of the billions of sites. It's not in a Google search where they can see your, your content. So no. that publish the web doesn't mean that. It means it's accessible in a browser. That's really all it means. So you have a yeah, I mean, yeah, when we have games, when we want interactives, they have to live online to be interactive and not just print based. So in here, you can probably pick one D if you pick like a category and uh, an amount here, we can show what this looks like. Creativity for 500. Oh, you're going for that. Okay, I like it. Oh, it's a joke. What do oh, computers eat for a snack? Something about bites. Um, little, my oh, microchips. Okay. <laughs> and I've got a video in here. Who doesn't love a baby laughing? We all need this today. So what we're going to get you to do, we want you to be able to try Flippity. We want you to be able to go to flippity.net, pick one of those templates you really want to be able to use. Just practice getting that spreadsheet, typing in that spreadsheet and publishing it to the web, and just seeing how engaging that can be, whether you're posting that inside of your Google Classroom, whether you're demonstrating it live inside of a Google Meet and having your kids interacting like that. Uh, it's such a fun way to teach and to learn. So give it a try. Awesome. Thanks.